Um, so it's been six months since your last fight. Uh, what's your take on your schedule thus far in the UFC? Is it something that you feel okay with, or do you think you should be more active? I really would have liked to fight at least three times this year. Four would have, would be pushing it, but be awesome. But I'd like to fight three times a year. So uh, it was a little bit um, slower than I'm used to. So you're fighting Jocelyn on short notice. Is that a more dangerous opportunity for you, given that you haven't had an, as much time to prepare? I think that she's a suitable opponent to fight me. You know, I was getting ready for a striker in Michelle, but possibly on the ground because um, she likes to go to the ground and submit her opponents. So I I'll be ready for Jocelyn. Have you had a chance to really get a sense of what Jocelyn's about, watching her fights in the RFA, or is this something where you're just kind of going to get in there and find out? No, I've watched video on her, and my coaches have watched video on her, and um, to my knowledge, what I see is she likes to box, sit there and trade with her opponent, and I'm not opposed to that, so um, I'm ready to go in there and do the same with her. So, your old opponent, Paige Van Zandt, is headlining, um, headlining the tough uh, the event in, uh, two days before your fight. Um, how does it feel uh, just watching her rise? Um, does it make you want to fight her again? Does it? Do you feel like the UFC would allow that to happen? Um, what's your take on that? Well, I fought both Rose and Paige, um, and I think they're both great opponents. I, I thought that one of my hardest fights was Rose, and one of my easiest fights was Paige. So if we're going off that, you know, I'm going to call Rose to win. But like that said, Rose has, I'm sorry, Paige has grown in the last two years. So has Rose. Um, I think Paige has grown significantly with the UFC because of maybe other factors besides her fighting, but um, her opponents have not been to the level I believe my opponents have been. Um, but this is her first real you know, test, so I think if she was to beat Rose this weekend, she definitely deserves to be in the top 10, ranked number 6, should they keep her there. Um, but if she beats Rose, okay, I'm going to say, yeah, and you know, should I win uh, this fight this weekend, that'd be a good matchup um, to come. Are you going to call her out if you win? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. First, I'm worried about Jocelyn. Is that something you generally do, you know, if, if you get past an opponent? Uh, given that, you know, so much of this game th these days is about promotion and, uh, and like you said, elements outside the cage, um, do you feel like you have to, to push for bigger opportunities by maybe making yourself heard more? Or is you, are you just going to let your uh, talking be done in the cage? Uh I'm not opposed to it. I, in the past, I've let all my talking during the cage. I've never called out an opponent or anything like that. But I'm definitely not opposed to it. it just depends, like, if um, how the wind went down.